Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my bedroom on this day where all the computers are saying record heat. It's like, yes, thank you for reminding me the sweltering hot box that is my room. Is it enough of a reminder? <laughs> y'all, I live in the Pacific Northwest for a reason, not the South, not the East Coast, the good old moderate temp PNW for a reason. <laughs> I love summer. I love summer so much. And I've been so sad that I haven't been able to like really enjoy it because I've been so busy. But this heat, who, who, but we're here. We're here catching up on all the things. And that includes Lucifer season three, season three, episode five. And yes, I saw the title. Welcome back, Charlotte Richards. I'm hearing it in Lucifer's voice. Why is going to be my question? Her part of the journey I thought was done. Does, is she gonna remember things from the goddess? Why is she bringing that back? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I'm here ready to get started. So I have my water and I have, because I just had it on hand, a Cosmopolitan because what better nightclub cliche drink is there to have than a Cosmopolitan. I hope you have your favorite beverage. Let me know what you're drinking. Also remember that full episode watch along is available on Patreon where I would love to see you. And if you're ready, I'm ready. So let's get to it. Simon, working late, huh? Orders went up again. Got Simon. In it all first, Lalo. A pudding. He's eating pudding. That's what it is. Okay. So what kind of murder could possibly go on at a pudding factory? Someone's going in the pudding. We're not going to like this flavor of pudding, are we? So who would want to drown Mr. P I have questions. One, who wants to drown Mr. Puddin' Man? Two, they have an alarm for if something terrible goes into the pudding. Is that what that is? You know the rules. Oh, I miss what she's ah, with. Good morning, detective. Child? Child? Yeah, I don't think it's a to barge in like you own the place. Why is her door unlocked then? Why is her door unlocked? Swear job. Oh, yes, Trixie's. Wow, she has racked up. How much is she charging? Ah, well then I'm even more impressed. Impressed that you extort money from your offspring. I mean, what a ridiculous idea. Here, child, this should buy you plenty of juicy words. You swear away. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Accountability is overrated. I mean, take your almost getting shot at the ranch. <gasps> Did she not know about that? Did Trixie not know about that? As of today, I've decided I shall no longer be affected by my father's shenanigans. Really? Oh, really? Why do I doubt that? Uh -huh. I am with you. A child. Where is Trixie getting this money to put in the jar? Before you do that. I wanted to hear the rest. And that pudding was bubbling away. This wasn't an accident. The irregular scuff marks, those indicate a struggle. I was working on cause of death. Well, he obviously drowned in this vat of semen. <laughs> Put it in this one. Sure. I've heard it called that, too. I, I've never heard it called pudding before. Yeah, I, I personally have never called it pudding. Well, I'm sure our resident pudding fan must and be And if it's this. the texture of pudding, something's wrong, right? Pudding Plus is my favorite, okay? Twice as much protein as all the other brands. Oh, that's right, Dan and his pudding cups. I forgot about that. It's quite a lot of security just for pudding. It's big business, thanks to the secret recipe that Simon created. <gasps> oh, he was that main pudding recipe guy. Give us the access to your security footage. You'd have to talk to the big man upstairs. God. <laughs> uh, no, the company's owner. How can I even eat this after what I've seen? Mm-hmm. Someone trying to tell me something. So what's up with this batch of pudding, I'm wondering, is why it's in a... Oh, that's his pet. Okay, 
they're, I thought they were at the factory and he was looking in the factory pudding special holder. Like, why is that special pudding holding? Why does this man look familiar? It doesn't. Your security footage will be incredibly helpful. Did you bring the tapes? Sorry, but no. Why not? Because I told him not to. <gasps> I'm Mr. Yates' attorney and the LAPD isn't laying a finger on those tapes. Ma'am. Not quite. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Have been putting J E L L O. Cannot get it out of my head. And she no longer lives at the beach house. I don't know if it was a beach house, but it looked like it should have been on the beach. Apparently, someone was trying to speak to my client without counsel. We just wanted Mr. Yates' help, but this makes it seem like you're hiding something. Mm hmm. It was awfully curious timing you back in my life with everything that's happening. This is about me, isn't it? If this was a social visit, you would most certainly know. Releasing those tapes would reveal how their pudding is made. Um. Besides, the killer's not on any of the footage anyway. Mr. Yates is best if I do the talking. Or Mr. Yates, not a word. We're done here. But. No. <laughs> I'm not done with you. Which part of my briefcase closing do you not understand? <laughs> so. Could that be considered blocking? Oh, what's the word? I can't think of it right now. Over there, I hear over there is really nice. Interfering with an investigation. That's the phrase I was looking for. She barely even looked at me. But she's a completely different person. Yeah, it's very perceptive, Daniel. What worries me is why is she here? What's her angle? Dude, I cannot deal with your weirdness right now. But I did find one other person with a key card, an old one, Adrian's former business partner, Grace Foley. She left the company Ooh. two years ago to start her own rival pudding company, Heavenly Pudding. Yeah, they're shooting their ad campaign here on stage 69. Really? Really? Bruce, I know you're not listening to me. Creepy flasher, stage 69? Mm -hmm. 69? What? Where? I reversed the numbers to get your attention. Now, her return has to be another one of his grenades. But I thought you were done being affected by your father's shenanigans. You're right. I did say that, didn't I? Yes. Did we believe it, though? No! Of course not! Maybe you need a distraction. Something else to focus on. Oh, this is the heavenly pudding ad. Okay. Not so. Not at all accurate, but <laughs> I approve. Yeah. Yeah, their wings are a little short. Unless Dad has something to do with this as well. More what? Four. I want pudding everywhere. This is a pudding commercial. Grace Foley. Well, why are your clothes still on? I ask myself that all the time. <laughs> LAPD, we have some questions for you. <laughs> Even if I did kill him, you really think I'm dumb enough to admit it? Especially without my lawyer present. Let's get her down here. Oh, it's Charlotte. It must be Charlotte. Gosh, if Charlotte's representing both pudding brands. My greatest desire is to stop shooting this exploitative garbage. Garbage? What are you talking about? What you're doing is art. We're selling sex mm -hmm. to distract people from the fact that my pudding tastes like crap. Oh, that's not choice of flavors. <laughs> didn't need to steal their recipe. Simon offered to sell it to me three days ago. Ooh. Before I could agree to his terms, he was murdered and not by me. By Yates. Possibly. I would hazard a guess. Hi again. What's your name? He's in a tizzy. You see that name, isn't it? Sorry, Creepy trench coat guy. Just because he looks out of place, not that he's doing anything necessarily creepy, just looks out of place. Why don't you take your new friend and escort her back to her trailer? The trailer? Are you suggesting? Who are you? I would be I would be suspicious of this Lucifer. <laughs> LAPD, don't move. Detective, what's happening? Sometimes big corporations they have fixers on their payroll to prevent corporate espionage. I'm not saying anything more without my lawyer. Well, if he works for Yates, that means his lawyer's Charlotte Richards, right? Why 
Why is Dan there? Why is Dan there? What's with the cold shoulder, Charlotte? Not just back at the precinct, but my calls. <laughs> you haven't returned any of them. <gasps> He's been calling her a lot? All that time. What did you think we were? I thought he was told she re remem she didn't remember anything. You almost die and then you ghost me for weeks. Nothing about any of that makes any sense to me. I'm sorry. Doesn't make any sense to me either. Whether you understand it or not, you don't just pretend like it never happened. So how much does she remember? Are we never gonna get clarity on this? So Lucifer and I were close? Oh, in ways that I'll never understand. I completely understand, and I will definitely talk to Trixie. God, what's Trixie up to now? <laughs> well, she called her math homework a cluster duck and her teacher a mother flunker. Did she not call anyone a sock sucker? <laughs> what? It's just someone who sucks socks. <laughs> mm hmm I can't believe you're teaching my daughter loophole swear words. In my defense, oh mother flunker it's was brilliant. entirely a little deviant's creation, and very clever of her, I might add. My mother swears it's just in her vernacular always since I was small. You're not Charlotte. But. And yet people get us confused <laughs> like all the time. Uh, her rule when we were kids were we're not allowed to swear until we gave birth. For my children, the rule is they were not allowed to swear until they registered to vote. And I figure if you vote, you're allowed to swear. Oh, hello. You are back for a reason, aren't you? Does she think they were lovers? Probably. Come on, tell me, why are you here? No! <laughs> <laughs> and she's just gonna go with the flow that they were a couple? Pretend you didn't like that. Well, I most certainly did not. No sense in being coy and all alone here. <laughs> Although she's not really her mother's body his mother's body to start with no however however i don't understand mm-hmm your desperate message is needing to see me first time since i woke up on that beach and then finally something that makes sense of course i'm sleeping with mr tall dark and handsome i can assure you that you and i have not or will not ever 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 sleep together <sighs> Friends? More like family. I can't, can't take this anymore. That was something she did not consider. I'm, I'm missing time. It's like someone else was living my life, ruining it. I've been pretending like I remember it all because otherwise everyone would think that, that I'm crazy. You're just an innocent, aren't you? Caught up in a game, not of your own. I'm missing time. It feels like I was trapped in some horrible nightmare. Was she in hell? It was almost like I was in hell. <laughs> so what moment was she reliving over and over again? Or perhaps you knew exactly where you were. Why would I go to hell? It's not like I'm a bad person. Mm -hmm. Pay my taxes, don't hurt anyone. Having an affair. <laughs> so, well, perhaps you feel more guilt than you realize. Isn't she representing criminals? How do I make sure I never go back? <laughs> well, well uh, this is your second chance. So perhaps avoid doing devious and dastardly things from now on. Does knowingly impeding a homicide investigation count? Uh... <laughs> Why does stuff like this always happen to me? <laughs> He's still eating it. Hey, it can always be worse. You can end up like our Vic here. Guess what his autopsy found? A couple of kidney stones the size of golf balls. Ooh, ooh. Due to suffering from intense renal failure. <gasps> he would have died within days from urinary sepsis. Did he not know this? How did he? He must have known. He must have known. You've got kidney stones. You know that's a bad thing. It says here that Pudding Plus employs you to handle their corporate security. Would you consider Mr. Fisher handled? That's a way to phrase that question, Chloe. I guess Grace forgot to mention, as of a month ago, Pudding Plus and Heavenly Pudding decided to merge. 
Richards and Wheeler are representing the merged company. Then why were you following me? I didn't know where your investigation was going. Because. Couldn't let Fisher's death threaten the merger. Okay. Do you know how much money is in pudding? Why are you handing this over now? You seem so opposed to it earlier. Well, it's recently come to my attention that I need to make a change. If I can prove my client is innocent and help you find your killer. Clean conscience, here I come. So you get two of the ingredients for the pudding. All this video shows is what we already know, that someone familiar with the cameras went into this room. What's Ella gonna see? Ella saw something. Daniel. We double checked them, okay? Yeah. I just saved your life. Melamine and cyanuric acid. When combined, they create a hard to detect toxin that over time can cause, drum roll please, renal failure. Oh. Looks like the plus in Pudding Plus is poison. Oh, why, 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 why? Well, what kind of idiot would intentionally put poison in their own product? These two chemicals have been known to fake the appearance of a higher protein content. Oh. But wouldn't people eventually realize that it's poisonous? I mean, the company would lose everything. Not necessarily. Yeah, but why would Simon try to sell the formula to Grace if it was killing him? Maybe when he found out what he created, he was just trying to stop it. And who better to expose Pudding Plus's dirty secret than their <laughs> biggest competitor? We've taken a turn. Suddenly, everyone has motive to keep Simon quiet. And as the merged company's counsel, you represent all of them. Ooh, this has taken a turn. I thought delivering those tapes would help clear my ledger, but instead it just revealed that I could be defending three guilty people. How long has she been representing those companies is what I'm wondering as well. Is it new clients or are they been old clients? What's Ella gonna possibly say to her? I know how you've been treating Dan. Oh. Okay, now I want you to know that I got his back. Oh, okay. I used to see a light in you. All I see now is darkness. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you run off to? I just needed to clear my head. You think Charlotte will be all right? Yeah. Why wouldn't she be? Because she had a goddess and had her body as... Because she was dying from another deal gone badly. You really think I killed Simon? Lala, we know you stood to gain hundreds of thousands of dollars in vested stock options <gasps> once those two pudding companies merged. Oh. You mean Simon really was sick? You knew about that? Sure, he said he was going to die. Hmm? But I didn't take it seriously. Does, does Simon have a life insurance policy? He started going off about how Mr. Yates wasn't listening to him and that people were going to suffer for it. Simon said that maybe he should just end it. And you didn't think to tell us this sooner, like when he showed up dead? Bunch of drunken nonsense? It's not like he jumped into that vet. I mean, boiling pudding. That is a terrible way to go. Well, so you think the man actually killed himself to lead us to the toxin? Well, if he did, it worked. Mm-hmm. Charlotte, good news. So, no need to worry. You won't be representing any murderers. Charlotte just left. She went to meet some clients. Ooh. Well, that ain't like a Joker Batman situation right there. I don't know what is. No one's leaving here until I figure out which one of you murdered Simon Fisher. Oh, geez, Charlotte. <laughs> That's an extreme. <laughs> okay. Wow. A couple of months ago, I sort of died. Mm -hmm. A few times. I'm feeling much better now. Oh, Charlotte needs some therapy. Though there might be a slight chance that I'm having a nervous breakdown as we speak. Well, here I am, the second chance, and one of you <laughs> is screwing it up. <laughs> Which one of you killed Simon? Charlotte, none of us did. 
Lucifer just went on his own. Where's Chloe? Where's the backup? You bitch. Sit down. Why don't you make me? Oh. That can't be good. <laughs> what the hell? You could have shot me. Very easily. We didn't need to kill Simon. We kept them quiet. How? We were all set to make record profits, despite Simon's nitpicky safety concerns. Nitpicky. Nitpicky. They're telling the truth. None of these scoundrels killed Simon. They're innocent. No. No, they're not. Oh. Well, they might be. So they didn't kill Simon. But they're not innocent. Innocent people. We're gonna die because of them. Turns out there are no loopholes. You're guilty. You're guilty. I can't go. I can't go back there. Then here's what you need to do, Charlotte. Does Lucifer know for reals? Like I know if anyone's gonna know, it's gonna be Lucifer. But does he know? Like, this is there really a way, a way, a way to get out of it? Last I was lurking in the shadows, they said quite a few incriminating things. Detective. <laughs> nice win, partner. Thank you very much. I'm just surprised you let me into the factory first. Well, I figured it was your turn to get shot at. There's more to her than I thought. The thing she said. Sounded loony. Oh, sounded like somebody wrestling with their demons. Because she is. I'm sorry you're struggling. You're right. But that's no excuse for how I've treated you. I appreciate that. Maybe we could meet for coffee sometime. Maybe when your life is more organized there, Charlotte. Maybe. Just wait a smidge. Did you tell Miss Morgan to go to Shell? I didn't technically break any rules. She found the loopholes. The real reason that we shouldn't swear is that bad words make people feel bad and i know you don't want to make people feel bad right oh i think you can make people feel bad without using a swear word to do it i hope you like red i'm a rose girl myself apparently while i was away i bought 30 cases of malo <laughs> yes sorry about that why would you be sorry you're not responsible for my lost time no yeah and i can't help but feel somewhat accountable I will miss her. But that isn't you, is it? No. No. No, it's not. Right. Well then, I look forward to getting to know the real you. So does this mean Charlotte's Charlotte's back back? Welcome back, Charlotte Richards. Do we need her back? Still wondering, do we need her back? Ooh, that's where we ended ended did did did. did. <laughs> Huh. J E L L O. I swear. <laughs> I swear, y'all. I'm gonna mm, have that go through my head for days now. For days. For days. Triple make gum. La 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 la. Okay. What were the lessons we were we were touching upon this episode? Clearing your ledger, finding loopholes. Do the loopholes, even though you don't directly touch what's considered immoral, bad, what have you. The label of, uh-uh, that's not right. You know it's there, you know, you know it's there, you know it's been done, but you use the loopholes to take responsibility for it. You're still doing bad. I found it interesting that they were using Charlotte to show us that lesson. Like they didn't pick a different character in any capacity but they chose charlotte because i guess that was shorthand we we already kind of knew what she was into and what she was up so we didn't have to go into explaining why that character felt the way they were feeling mm -hmm. but as you saw i was slightly confused because i swore the story was she was injured she had no memory of what she was or what she did during that time period. So why Dan all of a sudden was like, I've been calling you, I've been text texting you. Didn't what we have mean something seemed off to me because she, I thought he was told she didn't remember any of that. But apparently she, I don't know. Apparently, apparently, I don't know nothing. But Lucifer trying not to think of his dad, he's obsessed. 
But I guess our millennia of obsession of hatred of your father isn't going to go away. As much as I would like it to, to move the story along, it's not going to happen in this capacity. So I know we have a lot of this specific season to go. I want more people to know that Lucifer is a Lucifer. Because it feels as if we're just stretching out. And then what's going to happen once people find out? I don't know. Because it's not as if we're on a journey to find a treasure, build a something, find a something, complete. We're on a spiritual, emotional personality journey where the end is what and yes we have the sinner man this season this season we're trying to i guess beat the sinner man but the the threat of the sinner man is unclear maybe this is why the series was canceled because i don't know where we're going or why we got introduced a few things, but then they kind of went. <sniffs> and it's funny because I'm trying to think why that would be. Because we just finished, or I just finished, House of the Dragon season two. And I had forgotten that during that time period last summer, when this was when it was being filmed and whatnot, we had the writer strike and the Screen Actors Guild strike. So possibly a lot of things that were supposed to happen couldn't or didn't because of outside forces affecting how the story could be told same thing with anything that came out 2021 we had everybody shut down so for example umbrella academy because that just dropped season three got drastically changed because they had to shrink who and what they could do and it affected the storytelling so i'm trying to think what happened when this was happening when this came out and was being produced that would have caused such a weird mystery unclear bleh, bleh, is what we're getting just <laughs> Throw it on the wall. Tom Ellis looks happy, having some, it'll work. And it didn't. Yeah, so that's how I feel so far. Am I enjoying myself still? Yes, because I find Tom Ellis as Lucifer enchanting as hell. Trixie's cute. We don't get enough of her. Chloe seems to be not doing anything. Why? Why? Dan's still a little bit so sad, sad sack. Ella's cute. We're missing Maze. And I miss Dr. Linda. I love Dr. Linda and I need more of her. So why weren't we getting them? Mm hmm. And I'm sure some of you know, and you'll be happy to tell me. I'll accept this. I will accept those answers and comments, please. Your theories, comments, and knowledge would be greatly appreciated. But yes, as I said, lots more Lucifer to come. And I do want you there with me for those adventures. So if you have not already, please hit subscribe because it helps the channel and I would greatly appreciate it because I want to see you again. And until next time, stay hydrated, stretch. I've been able to do my yoga lately and oh my gosh, it is so helpful. Stretch your bodies, wear your sunscreen, and then make sure you come back to watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all. And until next time.